What's going on, boxing fans? This is Kenneth SP Unboxing. You can visit us on the web at www.spnboxing.com. Um, let's speak boxing. Last night, Adrian Brunner versus Paul Iman Najee. Both fighters. It was a pretty good fight. Um, it's not what as I expected. You know, I had a, uh, my prediction, I thought Adrian Brunner was going to walk through Paul Iman Najee, and I, I predicted that Paul Iman Najee was going to get knocked out. He was going to hit the canvas six, seventh round. Um, did that happen? Well, let me give you the breakdown. Both fighters made weight. Um, Adrian Broner came up two weight classes. Two weight divisions take on this fight. Um, he, he, both fighters made a promise. Adrian Broner said, you know what? I'm a force to be reckoned with. People are going to see what I got. You know, I'm going to bring to the table at 147. I'm going to completely dominate at 147. I'm going to be the next Floyd Mayweather Jr. at 147. Um, did that happen? I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, Paulie Manaji, he was set out to say, you know what? I'm going to expose Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner hasn't fought a fighter to my caliber. You know, I have more experience. I fought bigger opponents, better opposition than Adrian Broner, and I'm going to let the world know in boxing that Adrian Broner is just, he's no Floyd Mayweather Jr. Now, coming into the fight, the fight was okay. The fight was okay. But I'll tell you what, of both fighters, um, Paul Imam Naji did his thing. He did exactly what he was set out to do, and that was expose um, Adrian Broner for what it is. You know what? Pauly, he came in, um, a higher punch output, he was a more active fighter, um, he landed some shots again at Adrian Broner, you know, Adrian Broner has the, he has the, the Mayweather defense, pretty much the shoulder roll defense, is it in tune like Mayweather, is it, is it sharp like, crisp like Mayweather, no, um, Adrian Broner was catching, I mean, uh, Pauly Malinaji was catching Adrian Broner with some shots, he was catching with jabs, he was catching, he was working the body a lot, he was in and out, just quick, higher punch output. Uh, that was giving Adrian Broner problems. A lot of people were saying, you know what? They didn't give Adrian Broner any problems. But it says, you know what? The, the proof is in the pudding. When a, when a fighter doesn't throw punches, then that means you're having some issues. Okay? Um, Adrian Broner's punch output was to a minimum. He wasn't punching. He wasn't active whatsoever. So I really see uh, Pauly Malignaggi was doing his thing. He was doing something that was effective, you know. Um, but, you know, Adrian Broner was too much on the defensive end. Way too much defensive, you know, too much defense on Adrian Broner's shot. Don't get me wrong, Adrian Broner caught, you know, as far as power shots wise, Adrian Broner was catching Pauly. He was catching Pauly with some big power shots. Um, I thought, I wish he would have took more risk and more chances. You know what? And that's that's a good opponent to go ahead and take risk and chances, especially if he doesn't have that much to knock. He's a knockout. Um, his, his ratio as far as knockout, Pauly doesn't have knockout power. Everyone knows that Pauly doesn't have knockout power. So... Um, he had to come in and completely dominate and not win by split decision. Um, last night, um, Paulie uh, was a little upset by the judge's scorecard. I had a 115-113 against, you know, I had Adrian Broner winning from 115-113. Um, but, you know, there was one judge, 117 or 116, something like that, 117 or 111. Um, that was completely off. Obviously, you know, Paulie spoke his mind, um, politically correct. Uh, he was basically saying that boxing is fixed and that was a fixed fight um, by Al Heyman. Um, and Golden Boy. But anyways, um, to get into the, not not so much about this fight, I want to talk about Adrian Broner at the 147. Madonna clearly wants to fight the winner of this fight, which is Adrian Broner. Um, is Adrian Broner ready for Madonna? Is Adrian Broner, think about it, is Adrian Broner ready for Timothy Bradley? Is Adrian Broner even ready for any of the guys at the 147 division? Um, I know he was cocky, he was arrogant for the split decision, saying, you know what, uh, the fans, I'll give the fans what they want. But exactly, is that what you're going to do, man? Because if uh, I would honestly do you a favor and say, you know what, take on Madonna and see what happens. Um, based on the performance, I, I know Adrian Broner is young. And I, you know, to the defense of Adrian Broner, this is his first fight at the 147. Um, he needs to carry the weight. Usually the second, third fight, um, you, you drastically improve. You know, you make weight a little better. Your condition is a lot better. You can go back to the, you just get, you, you, you know what, Adrian Broner tests the water as far as that, that weight division. I know he didn't have no problems making the weight or whatever, but I know his second and third fight, he's going to get better. He's young. He's a young dude. So he has nothing, you know, he, he definitely has to be, get better. But as he progresses, just like Canelo Alvarez, which he's, his career path is just going really, really good, um, and he's getting better every single fight, he has to pick and choose his opponents a little bit more wiser. You know, at the 147, there's really no picking and choosing because if you fight Madonna right now, Adrian Broner, I think Madonna, he's going to tag that ass. You know, um, his his shoulder roll defense is good, but it's not like Mayweather. It's not like Mayweather. His his head movement was to a minimum. You know what? Paulie was able to catch um, Adrian Broner. Was able to catch Broner. Um, but the thing the thing about it, Madonna's punches and and um, Madonna's punches and, and Monaj's punches is completely different. You know, it's a night and day. Completely 180. 
And when Madonna catches you, he's gonna catch you. And now he's not gonna he's not gonna move. You know, he's gonna work different angles, he's gonna work the body, he's gonna catch you, he's gonna he's gonna catch you. So he's gonna definitely test that shoulder roll. Um, but I think his um, Broner has good defense, but he's not ready for Madonna. You know what, Madonna uh, Devin Alexander would definitely at that weight class, Devin Alexander will give Adrian Broner a run for his money if he wants to stay at the 147. Um, I would take Broner over Devin Alexander, but I know Devin Alexander would would definitely give him some problems too. I just I think uh, Broner he definitely has to stay up there in that weight division, that weight class. Who's he gonna fight? You gotta be a lot smaller. I mean a lot smarter about that. You know my guess. I don't know. He might take on Amir Khan. He might take on Amir Khan. If Amir Khan, because Amir Khan's looking to move up and wait a little bit, um, he, Danny Garcia's not going to give Amir Khan that fight. You know, he's not going to give that fight. You know, um, Matisse, Matisse might take on Amir Khan, but is that fight going to happen? I really don't know. You know, so Amir Khan might move up and wait. You know, Amir Khan's uh, uh, chin is definitely questionable. Um, uh, getting knocked out, getting knocked out like that. Um, previous fights and stuff like that, but styles make fights. You know, hand speed obviously is giving Adrian Broner problems. Punch outputs definitely giving Broner problems, and it puts his his defense to work. Um, he did last all 12 rounds, and endurance wise, I like the fact that um, Adrian Broner was able to last. But he didn't he didn't throw too many punches. You know, so I would like to see Amir Khan move up, and yeah, that'd be a good fight. Amir Khan move up to 147 and take on Adrian Broner. Take on you know, Amir Khan has to do that. He, he has some fast ass hands, and he's gonna definitely put out the punch output. You know, if, um, Amir Khan go ahead. Um, I mean, if Adrian Broner counters Amir Khan. That's a whole different ball game. But I would like to see that fight. I would definitely like to see that fight. But anyways, guys, this is Kenneth Espion Boxing. Visit us on the web at www.espionboxing.com. Friend request, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about the fight. Um, who's next for Adrian Broner? You think Adrian Broner should take on Madonna, or he? he he'll take on my boy. If he fights Cotto. I think Cotto will get him. I think that would be a good fight, but I, I think Cotto will get him. I'm hearing that um, Cotto might take on Lada. That would be a good-ass fight. Um, Lada versus uh, Miguel Cotto. You know what? I'm getting a lot of shit about Lada and Ang Angulo. Um, I just, what I, what I meant about that fight as far as um, Lada getting lucky, look, people are saying, you know, fighters hit the canvas. You know, Lada was just beating the shit out of... Um, Angulo, you know, he was just beating him up, beating him up, going to work on him, just, just completely killing him. But Lada, Lada was on survival mode that last round. He was definitely on survival mode that the, the previous round. I think it was the ninth or the tenth round. He was in survival mode. Lada is a great fighter. Um, Miguel Cotto versus Lada would be a good fight. It would be a definitely a good fight. Um, Miguel Cotto is just suffering back to back to back losses. But I know Lada has no no Austin Trout. I know Lada's not no um, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Um, I know he's a good fighter and stuff like that, but come on, a fighter like Angulo puts you hit you hit the canvas with them slow ass punches. I know he, he had more of a margarito approach and just kept pressing, pressing. I know that's a hard fighter, but the guy's slow, man. Angulo's slow. Um, I just I honestly, you know, it just doesn't. I don't I don't know what type of Miguel Cotto we're gonna get. He's just, he's just psychologically, he's just damaged goods. Um, so that's kind of hard to predict. That's definitely a coin toss. Um, I'm going for Miguel Cotto on this fight. I'm going for Miguel Cotto on the fight. But anyways, guys, this is Kenneth SB Unboxing. Friend request, subscribe. Have a good one.